Hi, and welcome to the Home Assistant running on Synology in Docker. Today we are going to install Radar. We'll start in 10 seconds. Today we will be continuing where we left the last episode, where we installed the Luge, and today we will be installing Radar. This tool will allow you to monitor schedule for the movies that are upcoming, in one way or the other. It will also allow you to integrate it with the Home Assistant and the Luge, meaning that if you are checking for a movie, you will be able to schedule it. When the movie is available, it will download it, and also you will be receiving notifications and information inside Home Assistant. So let's get started. This should be pretty quick and easy installation. Let's open up Putty. Let's log on to our server. OK, now that we are inside Synology, let's create a couple of folders. Let's first check what we currently have. So we already have folder named Media where we are keeping our files for the Plex, for example. And we also have, let me just check, what we will do, we will create a couple of folders. First folder we will create will be, will be called uh, Radar, MKDIR, Radar with double R. Next folder that we will create will be called Downloads. And third folder we already have, and this is the media folder inside root. This folder here. So now we have three folders. Let's clear this. Next thing that we want to take note once again is our ID or the ID of the user and the group we are currently working with. So we'll type ID and it says that currently our user is 1026 and our group ID is 100. Nevertheless, I will be still using 1000 as user ID and 1000 as group ID because I'm working on a strange setup and this should be sufficient for your installation also. Okay, and let's type in the docker run command. So once again, it will be sudo super user do docker run. Once again, we want to start it in a terminal detached mode as a daemon. Let's give it a name. It will be called radar. We want this docker container to restart always. So it's restart always. And now we will specify environment variables for the user ID and group ID. So it will be like this, PUID, so this is user ID equals, and as I said, mine was 1026, but I will go with 1000, and group ID, I apologize, is once again 1000, although my group was, I think, 100. Next thing what we want to do is specify time zone. Again, for me, this is Europe, Zagreb. You need to specify here your own time zone. We will be using host as a network. And now we have to type a couple of paths for the uh, volumes that we want to attach. So first path will be where we want our configuration to be stored. And this will be volume one docker radar and we want to connect it with the internal folder of config next what we want is specify our download folder for this we created volume one docker downloads and we will connect it with the downloads And last but not least is the path where we want our movies to be stored. And in our case, this will be V 
media and we will connect it with the uh, sorry media movies and we will connect this with the movies and the last part of the command is the name of the docker image we want to use so this will be linux server and radar there were two typos one was here you have to have only one minus or dash and i typed movies except for movies okay let's download this now and this is it we can now go to portainer let's check if everything is okay with the container let's go to radar and it looks like more or less everything is okay we can now visit the following url so it's our synology uh, ip address with the port 7878 and our radar is up and running and this is the radar screen in order for us to connect radar with deluge we have to go to deluge in deluge go to preferences plugins and make sure that you have labeled enabled let's press apply okay and let's go back to radar in radar we'll go now to settings we'll go to download client we will add new download client we will select deluge we'll type deluge here this is ip address of our synology so it's 192.168.1.201 for me port will be the same if you haven't changed your password in deluge this should be deluge but i have changed it so i have to type my password and let's test it okay let's save it and this should be it at this point i think our radar is configured let's copy this api key let's save this let's a little bit configure it for me this should be something like this this and this save it so UI is configured, we have copied our API key, we will need it in Home Assistant. We do not have anything from here, but we will be adding MB in next episode. Let's check what the connections are. We could probably add Plex Media Server, but we will do that later on. Synology also, nice. Lists, we do not have any lists. Download client, we have added the luge. Indexers. More or less, everything is configured. Let's try and add movie now. Okay, let's try this one. Let's go for this and let's edit. let's select this one okay we have problem with the user rights we'll have to change it let's fix user rights in putty let's go to media folder and let's check what our privileges there are so this folder is owned by root and we want to change it to uh, 1000 so let's type sudo change owner 1000 with the group 1000 for the movies let's check right okay let's go back to radar and now we can select that folder let's press browse 
let's find movies let's press ok close i will not be downloading anything because i'm unable to download anything as my disk is almost full let's go to main page and we have here information about movie we just added as i said i never used radar before next thing what we want to do is we want to add everything to home assistant here we are in home assistant let's go to configurator in configurator we will go to sensor cml file let's go to the bottom of this file and let's add here radar platform radar here we have to add our api key we will once again be using secret don't forget to leave one space here i've seen that some had problems with it and we will call this radar api next what we want to do is define host and host is the ip address of our synology device now we want to define monitor conditions so it's monitored monitored conditions so let's add all our monitor conditions so it's up, uh, movies upcoming commands disk space and status last thing that we want to add is how many days to look in advance for activity so it will be days seven for a week normally this is one so we get notified if something is for example is if movie is coming out tomorrow we will now receive notification a week before it uh, is released let's press save don't forget to add radar api to your secrets file and we can now go back to configuration server control check configuration and restart and our server is back online let's go to overview let's go to media and let's add here radar okay so here we have information from radar inside our synology we have one movie on the list this is the ad astra we added status will give you information about current uh, installation of the radar so those are a lot of informations inside that you can track version build debug paths oes etc upcoming is information if there are any movies upcoming ad astra has been released so there is nothing upcoming for example we could have added black widow this space gives you information about this space as you can see my disk is almost full and yeah that's the issue i'm going to have to fix in near future and radar commands gives you information if there are any commands currently active or running you can also implement and probably embed uh, both deluge and radar on the left side with the eye panel we can try and edit now let's go to configuration yaml file and let's, add. let's add radar Tate, title Ra radar url one nine two one six eight one two one we deport 
7878 icon let's leave this out and now we can add the luge title in the luge url http 192.168.1201 8112 let's save and now we can check configuration server control check configuration and restart now let's try if the luge is working yes it is and radar radar is working so now you have your home assistant with both deluge and radar inside the graphical user interface or web interface and this is it for today's episode of home assistant running on synology in docker today we implemented radar and in next episode we will be implementing plex alternative if you still haven't subscribed please subscribe and hit the bell button if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.